In this series of videos, let's start talking about how you can customize your Civil 3D workspace with custom ribbons, tool bars, and tool palettes, focusing mostly on tool palettes. Before we get going into the house, let's talk about some of the background information you need to know and what custom tool palettes are able to do for you in ribbons. So in options, under your profile, whichever profile you have loaded, under files, down here under tool palette file location, you'll see the location that the software is looking to populate tool palettes. And by default, it will be to your hard drive and it will have the sub assemblies for assembly composer. What I have loaded is a block library. There's a several uh, of our custom blocks that we utilize in plans. And the power of the, having them in tool palettes is that I can simply click them, load it, and place it without having to use the insert command. It can come in on custom layers, come in on default layers, however you build those blocks. And you can make these blocks as complicated or as simple as you want them. I can use my ribbon and I can change my palette. So I can come over here to my palette button on our ribbon, load in a custom one, and I am able to add things to it. So if you have labels or uh, text that you're using all the time, I can simply click, hold, and drag that over here and place it in my tool palette. And now I can click this, place it, and with a leader, it's going to ask the whole default text. Yes. Oh, I, I said it override, didn't I? My bad. Try that again. Draw my leader. No. And it came in and it's on the automatically on the appropriate layer. And it's got those texts. You can do the same thing with polylines or shapes. I can click and drag it in here. And now when I activate that polyline command, it's automatically switched to whatever layer that is. Hatches can be done the same way. If you have a hatch you're using all the time and you're always having to select it, change the layer, change the scale, all that good stuff, I can drag it over here, put it in. And now when I click this, boom, there it is. It's the same scale, same layer. So those are some of the awesome things that you can do with tool palettes. You can go as far as having your custom details library that you or your organization use, load them into a tool palette like this. And I'm using a web machine, so it takes a moment to load all these thumbnails. But you can click it. And uh, once it loads in from the web on my end, palette or details are kind of big. You can place it and place an entire detail. So just some examples of what you're able to do with them. But keep in mind, as we saw when I went to options, that all of those palettes are handled through that variable right there. Now my ribbon, these buttons on this ribbon are changing the file path of these to load in different tool palettes. On ribbons, you can put whatever, lots of things on here. And here we have a bunch of buttons to run some lists. Uh, these are some other lists. These are some viewport lists. These are some nifty just common tools. You can have the buttons to change your tool palettes. You can even go as far as putting it and letting it uh, open external files, such as PDFs and so forth, all in Civil 3D without leaving the program. So those are some of the powers of what you're able to do with these. And you're also able to do the same thing with buttons on the toolbar, if a toolbar is your preference over a ribbon. So that's a quick synopsis of some of the customizations that you can do using ribbons, toolbars, and tool palettes. In the next several videos, we're going to go through how to achieve all this. So if you want to learn how to do that, please continue watching the rest of this playlist.